and welcome to another one of my videos. Yesterday, we are celebrating Pride and we are doing a gorgeous and stunning makeup look. Yes, that's happening. Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Juno Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. Welcome, welcome to the Juno Show. And welcome to the Juno Show. And welcome to the Juno Show. <laughs> yes, that's happening. We quite like this as a headpiece. Hello, everybody. I am back. Yes, that is happening. It is Pride Month, everybody. Happy Pride. Now, as you all know, I'm a transgender woman um, and I'm also a drag queen. And at the moment on the earth, there is a lot of hate and a lot of meanness going on. And it's quite a scary time for us all. Um, but I wanted to just celebrate being a proud transgender woman by doing a very gorgeous and stunning transgender pride inspired makeup a tutorial. Yes, that's happening. But before we start, I must remove my sunglasses. Oh, oh excuse the state of me, everybody. I have just got back off a little um, UK tour with the Juno show. So I've got a little bit of a break now to do some YouTube videos. And then um, we're going to America in a few weeks to do the Juno show. Yes, that's happening. But anyway, excuse all of this beauty. I know you all can't cope with how gorgeous and stunning I am. We're gonna start by. That is a loud shaver. Oh my goodness gracious me. Happy Pride, happy Pride, happy Pride. Shaving off the brows, happy, happy Pride. <laughs> so, we're gonna do kind of like a trans pride flag skin sort of thing. Because you all know my drag normally is blue skin, pink glasses, and whitish blonde hair. The colours of trans pride, because I'm a very tra pra tra proud transgender woman. <laughs> I'm going to go into my hairline because I'm going to be wearing a very stunning and gorgeous wig in this video. Transgender people have existed for a very long time. In fact, we've existed since the dawn of time. So I've always start, I've always been doing very purpley blues with my skin. Um, because I did a lot, I do a lot of work on green screens, and if your skin is slightly turquoise, you can disappear, people. So for pink, I'm going to use this brush. We're using a Meron. I don't usually use Meron cream blend sticks, and um, they're a lot softer and a lot more oilier than Krylon. So I usually struggle to use them to keep them on my skin for during performances and such. What do we think of this pink? Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that, people. I hope you can see this gorgeously on camera. Pink and blue together have always been my favourite colours. Trust the process, people. Trust the process, goodness gracious me. I want to try my best to keep all the lines the same. This looks quite scary, actually. Um, the Pepto-Bismol Queen has arrived. Oh my god, I've not painted my skin pink in so long. I'm a lazy cow and I haven't unpacked yet, people. I remember once I did a, um, not a commercial, but it was some kind of, celebration for pride for a company and um i was i must have been drunk or something i don't know but in the video i said pappy pride and they used it <laughs> so in the video i'm just going pappy pride still haven't got the hang of the english language trust me people this is going to look gorgeous when it's finished trust me you've got to trust the process it's kind of like transitioning really how are we looking are we looking stunning yes we are we're looking beautiful right people I'm just going to beauty blend with a pink out on my chin. I'm going to go up the earlobes and stuff. La, 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 la. Why have I got Game of Thrones in my head? I haven't watched that in years. Also, you know, I was thinking people. So, you know, I used to make um, sculptures um, of alien women. And I miss it. I miss making sculptures out of clay. So I'm thinking when I, when I come off the American tour... Um, in September, I'm thinking of going back to making sculptures because I miss it. Um, so, look out for that, everybody. Yes, it's happening. How we? Does this look like? Tra okay, this is very trans pride. Yes, it's happening. It's very trans pride. How very dare you be so trans? Right, we're doing a bit of white in the ears, everybody. Right, I'm going to use Ben Nye Super White today to set 
the foundations because we're using white and we're using pink and we're using blue I want to make sure everything is pastelized and set in nicely I'm going to try and mat these separately so they don't mix in with each other too much I want to really get that set in because if we're going to pride festival we need to make sure it doesn't sweat off we need to make sure it stays on all day and we remain proud all day I'm going to make sure that I go sideways so that I don't you know, mix the colours in together. You can see that I'm a tr pride flag. I know I usually do my makeup with my gloves on, but it's too hot. It's too hot. The UK does not know how to deal with this kind of weather. It's We're not used to it. It's climate change, everybody. Recycle immediately. And I might also put a little bit of pink on the end of the nose. Also, in the Trixie Cosmetics blush, this highlight is absolutely stunnelina. And it's a pink highlight, so it would blend lovely over the top of these cheekbones here. So I need my hairspray. Please, excuse me. Excuse me, butler. Thank you, hairspray. I never use wig glue because, I, I, you know, it ruins the laces on wigs. And I'm very lazy. I can't be asked cleaning laces. Okay, we're slaying, people. We're slaying absolutely slaying the night away. We're going to start with our brows, everybody, because we need to get some brows on. Yes, it's happening. We don't have any brows on, so we're looking very emotionless right now. We need to show emotion and drama because we're a drag queen. Now, I'm going to do the classic Juno brow, which always starts at this little bump here. I'm actually doing London Pride this year on the cabaret stage, so I might just do this look. This is how hot my room is right now, that the Krylon has melted. Right, so we're gonna do, I wanna do a really gorgeous highlighted brow up here. Stunning, this looks, I look like an Easter egg. Excuse the human hands, people. Oh my God, I feel very exposed right now. I need to do a bit of a pamper day soon because uh, I've been in drag so much recently that my skin is the texture of a tortoise's neck. So I'm actually quite proud of myself this year. Very proud, proud to be a drag queen, proud to be a trans woman, proud to be me. God, that was cringe, but it was still stunning. It was a nice speech. I kind of look like some kind of Easter bunny. Not Easter people. We're not celebrating Jesus rising out of an egg. We're celebrating transgenderness. I think I'm gonna do pink lids. Brace yourselves, people, brace yourselves. This is not, this is very out of the ordinary for me. Look at me, I'm so versatile. Oh my God. I need to get some trans pride earrings, some big chunky 1960s trans pride stripe earrings. That would be very, very stunning indeed. Whatever in the Girl Talk palette by Trixie Cosmetics. Cheers, everybody, cheers. I'm just gonna do a little tester. Yes, people, yes. I'm just gonna see if this purple fits nicely. Oh my God, it does. Oh my God, it does. Okay, we're getting there somewhere. I know I look a bit bruisey. Grease is the word, is the word, is the word, is the word. It's a bird, it's got feelings. Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna lightly blend all this out very stunningly. Taking some whites like this and we're gonna start carving out our creases, everybody. Yes, that's happening. Oh yes, amazingly, gorgeously and stunningly. You know, often transgender people are alienated from society. But the thing is, being an alien is not always a bad thing, people. It's actually a very stunning thing. Ah, shut up in your face. It's a not so bad. Why are you looking so sad? Sometimes I forget that the cam <laughs> camera's there. And I start talking to myself and then I have to watch the footage back and I'm like, oh my God, I need help. What we're gonna do next, everybody, we're taking some makeup or breakup powder and we're going to just smack that on. I'm going to just, oh my God, look at that shimmer. Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh my God, can you even cope? No, you can't, this is happening. I transitioned at a very early age. I was 13 years old. Now, when I say transition, I don't mean medically. Um, that's a misconception that's going around at the moment that, that, you know, children are medically transitioning, which is absolute bollocks. I knew that I was a girl from a very, very early age, but when I was younger, there was no such thing as transgender in the media. It wasn't really a, I mean, I'm not that old, but 
people didn't really use that word very often, where I lived anyway. Um, so I didn't really know how to describe being transgender because I had no examples of it. And so I, all I could say was that I'm a girl and that's how I explained it to my parents and to my sisters and everything. It just proves really that if you are educating younger people about transgender people, it doesn't mean that they're going to turn trans. Um, it just helps them understand the world more and helps them understand that people like me exist and it's nothing to be scared of and it's nothing to be to attack in the world. I, was, I went from a very, very quiet boy who was very socially awkward, didn't have many friends, to a very loud and annoying girl. <laughs> But it's just because I was happy. I was comfortable. Anyway, that's a bit of my story. You know, I'm very lucky that I have a family that supports me. Um, but there's a lot of people that don't have that in the world. So it's important to be kind to your transgender siblings. Um, because we, we all need a bit of love right now, don't we? Yes, it's happening. Just a little bit of highlight up that nose. Very gorgeous. We want it to look like it's our natural skin. I might actually wear this for London Pride. Um, I'm going to use Inglot. Now, don't judge me at the state of this Inglot. Look at that, isn't that disgusting? Anyway, right, we're gonna go on with some liner. Also, I will say this one thing. So, I, when I transitioned very young, um, I never even in a million years dreamed that I would end up being a drag queen. I always loved drag and I always wanted to perform but I was always scared that doing drag would mean that people would perceive me as a man, which is a very wrong thing to think because, you know, all walks of life do drag people. So once I kind of was comfortable with my body and with my identity, I kind of was like, do you know what? I don't care anymore. I don't care what people think of me. I don't care if people think I'm a man. I don't care if people think I'm a woman. I am a woman and I know I'm a woman and I don't need anyone else's opinion. So that's why I started doing drag because I always wanted to do it and I was too scared to do it. And now I've been doing it for five years and I'm absolutely loving my life, people. Right, we're doing a gorgeous wing, you know, a classic, classic, beautiful 1950s wing. So I recently like to start dragging my eyeliner underneath the eye like so. Right. Well, that I'm going down. I'm going down, everybody. I'm going down. Oh my God, the lift's taking me down. This chair, goodness me, this is just transphobic. This is, oh, sorry about that, everybody. This chair has a tendency to um, go down. It goes down sometimes when it's had enough of the weight of my big ass. Now I'm going to use the Trixie and Juno palette. Oh, I'm really matching today. Maybe I should just do this. Wait, does this work? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. She's been drinking Lucasade today, so she's a bit gassy. I'm going to use Grim Reaper from the Trixie and Juno palette, and I just want to blend some black in with those beautiful and stunning wings of eyeliner. Grim Reaper. Right, I just don't want to do too much, though, because, you know, this is a very light base. Okay, I'm just blending some black in with that bottom lid. Oh, my God. I'm absolutely sweating like a cat trying to bury its own shit on a marble floor. I really want Deja Sky to paint me. But next time I see her, I want her to do my makeup because I want to look like that. That is just absolutely gorgeousness. The smoothness, the detail, the shading, the graphicness of it all is beautiful. Deja Sky, absolutely love you, my darling. We're going to do some mascara now, everybody. We're using waterproof mascara today, just in case I poke myself in the eye and have to call an ambulance. I'm going to use the Trixie and Juno lashes today. Favourite lashes. They're a bit crusty because I've just been on top. Liner inside here. I'm going down again. I'm going down again. Oh my God. Bye, everyone. Um, and that's why you should look into the mirror and tell yourself, oh my God, I've got glue in my eye. Shit. I'm trying to do a not, I'm trying to say something important here and the lash is ruining everything. Right, do you know what I'm gonna do? 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 I'm gonna get the whites from the Juno and Trixie palettes, Bone Hilda. I'm just gonna pat a bit of that white. Dreams can come true. <laughs> That streams come true by The Sims 2. Yes. Right, what colour shall we do our lips today? Now I've got a June bug, but 
June Bug is my favourite lipstick, but I don't think that shade's gonna go with the pink and blue. Pink Slip, this is by Trixie Cosmetics, Pink Slip. I think that's a nice one, because it's not too darker than the shade of pink that I've got on my face. This is turning out really gorgeously, people. I really like this look. It's very stunning. Happy Pride Month. Hi, gay. Hi, Tren. Oh, I'm so hot, oh my God. I'm hot and sexy and gorgeous. And now we're gonna go on with our lips. Oh my God, this lipstick is the one, people. This really goes with the look. It's not too different from the skin tone, but it adds a shine and it adds a beautiful plump lip. This is the one. Is this what my granddad died for? That is stunning. This is the look, everybody. This is, ah! Do you know what we need? We need a little bit of texture in this outfit. I feel like we need to have a bit of, you know. Oh, oh my God. This, everybody, is the finished look. Where are my sunglasses? Let's see what it looks like with the sunglasses on. We have to test. We have to test. Oh, wait, oh, these are the wonky ones. Well, my darlings. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this trans pride video. I think I'm feeling very proud of my transgenderness. Um, and I will see you next time, everybody. Goodbye!